Hello everyone and welcome back. Just in case you don't know me, I am Leo, 16 years old and from Germany. I used to post tutorials on various topics around programming on this channel and maybe that's even what you expected when clicking on this video in the first place. But while creating tutorials was fun, it limited me in the way I work. I had to think of a topic to make a video on every week and I could not concentrate on a larger project for maybe a month, especially because I didn't want to neglect school. And now I finally move on. From now on I will mainly create videos documenting my work in a week while also streaming on this channel together with my friend Jonathan. So you can watch us working live. And this video is actually the first of its kind, so let's get right to it. Of course, for streaming I still had to prepare some things and that's what I did on Monday. Firstly, I sat down to create some streaming graphics. This wasn't too difficult as I already roughly knew how they should look, based on my logo and banner. They are all made from an off-white background and text with an image inside. More specifically, this image I took about a year ago. For streaming, I used Vanilla OBS as this is my main software for screen recordings already. The only changes I had to make were to display Jonathan's stream and the face cam. I did that with a browser source. And then I was all set to stream on Tuesday. The stream was actually really chaotic because neither me or Jonathan really knew what we were doing. And frankly, I did not get much done. In the future you will find all my live streams in the live streams playlist on my channel. Showing my face on the internet felt really weird at first, but it's almost normal by now. Is it, oh, is it on again? Is that problem with the uh, that you have a second streaming PC or what is the problem again? Um, is it is it a problem I, we already just know? Just the, the NDI plugin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cut off the audio again. Ah, that, okay, that's we're annoying. back in line. Jumping right to Thursday, Jonathan confronted me with an app idea he had when I just came home from school, and of course we started working on it right away on stream. We are right now working on a Stream Deck app, um, just for ourselves. I think first off and then if it works we'll maybe make it public um, because I mean it's always great uh, it is always great to have something you have done yourself um, and not use these third party ones by Elgato yeah and yeah so the basic idea of the app is to remotely control OBS like switching scenes and muting audio ideally it should replace an Elgato stream deck because it is really expensive and other mobile apps that have some sort of this functionality are either exclusively for Streamlabs OBS or have a lot of ads in them. So far we only have the basic layout of the app implemented, which are some rounded containers inside of a grid of columns and rows. Meanwhile, Jonathan is working on the Python script for OBS. We are not sure yet how we are going to handle the communication between the two devices, but it will either be Firebase's Firestore or directly over the local network. Jonathan and I always had a great passion for Minecraft and we wanted to play on a map again we already had spent some time on together. But of course we did not want to pay any money for a server and opening a port on a router was apparently too much work for us. So we spent way too much time in trying different services which made a localhost address available for people outside of your network. First candidate was remote.it, but it kept disconnecting both of us from the server even when only one of us was on the server. So we tried ngrog, a command line application that creates an actual URL for your localhost address. This worked too good to be true and I had already lost faith in the thought of not having to pay for a server. So that was a fun little project and I will link a tutorial on this topic in the description just in case you want to try it as well. The rest of the week I really just spent watching Naruto, doing homework and making music. Maybe you will even see me making some music on stream as well. And that's really it for this week. I know those kind of videos still need some polishing, but I think I'm on a good way. Let me know in the comments what you think about this video or what I can improve. I hope you enjoy my content and if you do, maybe consider subscribing and liking to help me making more videos just like this one. And till then, see you next time.